Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Game Maker course. Well, I guess this is going to be my first Game Maker course here on YouTube. So, a while back, I sent out a survey to you guys, uh, not actually here on YouTube, but to my email list, and asked what kinds of things they wanted to see as far as course content goes. And the first thing was an action RPG. And the second thing was a 2D hack and slash, like a 2D Dark Souls type thing. Uh, so I did the action RPG. There's still a few things I'm going to be adding to that, but that's on Udemy. And I decided I wanted to make the 2D hack and slash a course on YouTube. So how is this going to work? Well, uh, let me show you the game first that we'll be making in this course. And then we can talk a little bit more about how that's going to work. But so I've got it here. Uh, h.io slash grave. This is the game I made for the Ludum Dare 33 and I think it's a good starting point and will be a good way for people to learn how to make a 2D hack and slash game. So uh, hopefully my desktop audio isn't too loud here. Uh oh, so I got to click in here first. Okay, here we go. So this is the game. You can see it's a pretty basic little game. And the artwork is all kind of black and white. But even though this looks pretty simple, there's a few different things going on that you'll be able to learn during this course. So you'll be able to learn things like different states, like how to have rolling and attacking. You can see there's even a combo, like a one, two, three combo with our character. So there's a basic system of comboing and hitboxes attached to the sword. There's a simple level system you can see up at the top. I'm currently level two and I'm collecting this. Oh, just leveled up to level three. And I get invulnerability when I'm rolling. Oops, that crow got me. I don't know when I lose invulnerability, what frame it is, but oh, great. Um, so there's big bosses like this. And this is about the extent of the game. And that's a, that was a random thing I added where sometimes a crow will pop into confetti. Oh, great. <laughs> and I'm dead. <laughs> so you get the general idea. There's a, a high score system you can see. I've got a high score set up here. And really just a uh, pretty fun little game. So let's refresh this page. Don't really want to hear the music running the whole time. So that's the game we're going to be making. The reason I'm putting this for free on YouTube is because I wish, I, I well, I just kind of decided I wanted to put it for free on YouTube, but I'm calling it a pay what you want course. So if you decide you want to support the course, there will be two main ways where you can do that. You can, when you download the resources right here, there'll be a link in the description where you can download the grave resources. You can uh, donate money. You don't have to, but it's an option. Or I'm also going to put a link in all of the videos to my pixel art course. So if you choose to, if you want to support me while also getting a course, you can do that as well. So you could support this game while also purchasing my pixel art course. And uh, those are kind of the two options that I'm putting up. If it does well, I'll be doing this more and kind of avoiding uh, paid courses on Udemy and moving more towards a course structure here on YouTube. So it's kind of an experiment. We'll see how well it does and go from there. So some of you might know I'd been doing artwork for this previously. And then I just, I've decided to stick with the original artwork. I think there's something about the black and white colors and the original artwork. I'll have a link to the new artwork that I was doing. If you guys want to try and mess around with using that, so you can kind of see what I was, the prototype that I was working on. But for the course, I'll be using this, the, the original artwork, because I think it looks pretty cool. So that's it for this video. It's just kind of a little introduction video. I will be uploading. You'll see that part one will be up in the top corner or at the end of this video already. So you don't have to wait for part one. And 
I'd like to do uh, four videos a week, so Monday through Friday, well, or sorry, three videos a week, so Tuesday through Thursday, uh, there will be a new video for this series. So, and maybe more, we'll see what happens, but you'll at least get three videos a week while I'm finishing up this series. And it's going to, oh, one more question you guys are probably going to ask me, which is, is this going to be Game Maker Studio 2 or is this going to be Game Maker Studio 1? Well, the original source code is in Game Maker Studio 1.4. So for the original, uh, if you guys end up downloading the original source code, because I'll have that included on the Grave itch.io page as well, it will be in 1.4. Uh, I'm going to do the course in Game Maker Studio 2 and then mention the places where things will be different. So in theory, and I'll be translating it to Game Maker Studio 2 as I kind of go along from my original source. So in theory, you should be able to take this course in either Game Maker Studio 2 or Game Maker Studio 1.4. It won't be available. I, I don't think you'll be able to complete the course with the trial version of Game Maker Studio 2. I think there's too many resources. However, you will be able to at least start the course. And so if you if you want to try doing the course uh, and you don't have Game Maker Studio 2 or Game Maker Studio 1.4 and you don't want to buy either of those, you can start taking the course. Just take it for free. Don't donate or anything. Uh, just take it for free using the trial version and get as far as you can go. And then you can kind of decide you know, is this the right engine for me? Do I want to continue using Game Maker Studio 2? Do I like this engine? Or do I want to use Game Maker Studio 1.4 if you end up going that route? And then you can kind of decide at that point once you hit the resource limit. But it should give you a pretty good idea starting out so you can kind of do a trial run, you know? That's what the trial version is for. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the course that aren't clear from this video, ask them in the comments below. I'll be answering questions and I will see you guys in part one.